Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Thank you all for supporting us in all the videos on LMT channel. Your support is also a great motivation for the team to have more motivation to produce better and more attractive content. With the aim to send to you those who have the same passion and admiration for Prince Harry's family. And will not make you wait any longer. Now let's start the story. Prince Harry doesn't have friends in Los Angeles. When Prince Harry made the decision to pull the plug on his life within the British royal family, this is not at all what he foresaw happening. The Duke of Sussex and his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, wanted the opportunity to carve out a new life for themselves without having to adhere to royal traditions and protocols. Though they had a plan in place to move to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles, California, and launch their new Arcawell Foundation, the coronavirus, COVID-19, drastically shifted their timeline. Now only did the Sussexes have to leave their rental property on Vancouver Island in Canada abruptly, they were also forced to stall any future projects. While Meghan seems to be settling into a routine, Prince Harry is reportedly feeling a bit lost. It doesn't help that he seemingly doesn't have any friends in Los Angeles. Prince Harry hates being so far from his family. With access to pretty much anything he could ever want, it would normally be no big deal for Prince Harry to catch a flight from Los Angeles to the UK. Unfortunately, the coronavirus has halted all unnecessary travel, leaving the prince very isolated from his royal family. Royal expert Angela Mollard said, I very much think that Harry will be suffering from irrelevancy. He is separated from his family at a time when the rest of the world is using Zoom or WhatsApp to chat with each other. I can hardly see that happening. He must feel very separate. Prince Harry feels like his life has been turned upside down, while it looks like the Duke of Sussex is willing to give Los Angeles a fair chance, he certainly wasn't expecting things to turn out the way that they have. A source told Daily Mail. He has been telling friends he still can't believe this has happened. He can't believe his life has been turned upside down. Prince Harry doesn't have any friends in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, aside from Meghan, the Duke doesn't have very many people he can depend on in Los Angeles. Royal expert Katie Nichol told Vanity Fair, Harry has a lot of friends in the military community, in the UK, and of course he misses them. This is a very strange time for us all, but I think Harry is missing having a structure to his life right now. He doesn't have friends in Los Angeles, like Meghan, and he doesn't have a job. So at the moment, he's a bit rudderless, but it won't always be like this, and he knows that. Thankfully, there is a bright spot in all of this. Prince Harry has been able to reconnect with his family despite the distance. Nickel told Entertainment Tonight. There have been clearly some quite major rifts in that relationship, but things have got better, and I know that William and Harry are in touch on the phone. They have done video calls together, they have done a lot of family birthdays, and I think with Prince Charles not being well, that really forced the brothers to pick up the phone and get back in touch. What Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are doing to stop nosy fans from watching their every move. Prince Harry and Meghan officially stepped down from royal duties on March 31st and moved to Los Angeles. After speculation about if they purchased a home and in what area, it was reported that they were renting out Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion. However, they found a certain issue with living at the star's home, now that lockdowns in California are being lifted and are taking steps to keep others from watching their every move. Find out what the Duke and Duchess are doing to stop it. What they're having installed to avoid prying eyes. It's widely known that even though they are public figures, the prince and former actress value their privacy, but that's being compromised now that lockdown restrictions are easing in the state. Harry's 8-bedroom, 12-bathroom, Beverly Ridge estate 
sits atop a hill creating a bit of an issue now that parks and trails nearby have reopened. According to Hello! Magazine, the problem is that whenever someone in the park hikes up to the highest point of the trail they can see into the home. In an effort to stop strangers from watching them and their young son, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are installing privacy screens around the property. They're beefing up security by having several more cameras put it in as well. At this point, it isn't known if the pair has any plans to buy the home, as they have been looking at other places in Los Angeles. They're interested in Kylie Jenner and Mel Gibson's former homes. It's been reported that Meghan and Harry's permanent residence could be elsewhere. The couple reportedly expressed interest in Kylie Jenner's former Malibu home. Caitlyn Jenner revealed on the British talk show Loose Women. I heard they were looking for a house in Malibu. Petra Manor is the mansion Kylie once called home. It features eight bedrooms, ten bathrooms, a swimming pool, a tennis court, an indoor cinema, a bar, a wine cellar, a dance studio, and plenty of outdoor space for Archie and the family's two dogs to play. And best of all is it isn't far from where Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, lives. Petra Manor would set them back $6.6 .6 million. But Kyle's pad isn't the only place the Duke and Duchess have been eyeing up. The Sussexes are believed to have looked at Mel Gibson's old place, which is also located in Malibu. The actor's previous property sits on more than five acres, and boasts five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a detached guest house, a gym, a fireplace, and an ocean view. The price tag for the estate is $13.4 million. Another analysis. Meghan Markle could become the most prominent influencer in the world with the Markle Sparkle. Since announcing along with her husband Prince Harry, that she would be stepping down from her role as a senior working royal, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has been laying low. Though the former actress returned to the UK briefly for her final royal engagements, since then, she's been living a relatively low-key life in her hometown of Los Angeles, California. Though the Duchess had hardly been seen publicly since Megxit, her brief appearances for various charities have caused an absolute frenzy online. The Duchess' zoo hairstyle was all the rage when she briefly made an appearance for her SmartWorks charity. Likewise, the evil eye necklace that she wore immediately sold out. Though many people have attempted to disparage Meghan, she has positioned herself to be one of the most influential women in the world. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are eager to make their mark outside of the royal family. Though their plans have been stalled due to the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, the Sussexes do have major plans for the future. In fact, they have already announced their new Arkawell brand. Arkawell is a name that combines an ancient word for strength and action, and another that evokes the deep resources we each must draw upon. In fact, Many royal experts believe that as soon as Arkawell launches, the Sussex's popularity will skyrocket even further. The Atlantic's Caitlin Flanagan explained. The couple's future isn't certain. They are hugely appealing and glamorous. Everyone in Hollywood is eager to host them. The first few years of this plan are going to be heady. But, as Harry has often said, as soon as William's three children become old enough to emerge as individual figures, the clique lights will immediately turn to them. He is in a rush to make his mark, and seems to treat life as a race too. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could have made a ton of money on Instagram. Before shuttering their Sussex Royal Instagram account, which bolstered over 11 million followers, the Sussex's Instagram account could rake in as much as $109,808 for each sponsored post, however, considering the fact that the Sussexes will need to make millions per year in order to maintain their lifestyle without help from the royal family.
We believe they are setting their sights higher. The Markle Sparkle could make Meghan Markle the most prominent influencer on the planet. Though they do need to tread lightly with the royal family amid makes it, and the Duke has vowed not to take on any projects that embarrass the royals, the Duchess' influence, in particular, is magnetic. The Markle Sparkle is the kind of marketing you cannot buy, town and country reports. Obviously, anybody would give them anything, but I think they're going to be really careful, fashion journalist Elizabeth Holmes told the site. I think that Meghan's power as a dresser will continue. There are so few people, even among celebrities, that have the kind of economic power to move merchandise the way that royal women do, so I hope and I think she'll choose carefully. We highly doubt we'll see the Duchess stepping into the car dinner level of sponsored posts, but she could stand to be very influential while making a ton of money if she uses the Markle. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.